हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेशन टू ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मेनी डिफरेंट नंबर्स लाइक नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स एंड रैशनल नंबर्स एंड वी थॉट ऑल दिस आर रियल नंबर्स वेल अप टू 500 बिफोर क्रिस्ट एरा इट वाज बिलीव्ड दैट रैशनल नंबर्स आर द लास्ट ऑफ नंबर्स और एंड ऑफ नंबर्स but by the 400 bc era again it is observed that there exist another set of numbers which are not coming un under rational number so in such case so how those numbers exist how they came it has to be learned so today we'll discuss about the more of this real numbers the numbers which can be presented in real number line are called as real numbers we have observed that in real numbers natural numbers are there whole numbers are there integers are there then rational numbers are there then except rational number such more numbers are also there which we have still not learned so as we know already the numbers which can be presented in p by q form they are called as rational numbers so now we'll discuss about the numbers which cannot be presented in p by q form what they will be what they will be called so they will be called now as irrational numbers so in irrational numbers how it can be presented how it has to be uh, written so let us see as we know all the uh, rational all the real numbers we can represent in decimal numbers so let us start this classification of decimal numbers then we will learn let us come to here so if i'll write decimal numbers actually these numbers are the real numbers these decimal numbers i can split into two parts first part i can write is a terminating decimal i can write it is a terminating decimal terminating decimal the decimal numbers which are terminating after some places of the decimal parts then other part is non terminating is a non terminating so what are terminating decimals for example i can give it here terminating decimal sir 1.2 so after decimal one place it is terminated it is no more continuing i can write 2.32 so after decimal two places it is terminated such type of numbers are called as terminating decimal numbers now come to non terminating decimal numbers how these numbers behave so these numbers are again classified into two parts first part we can say it is recurring or repeating recurring non terminating decimal numbers and the other part is non recurring non recurring non recurring non terminating decimal numbers what are the recurring decimal numbers let us see if i'll write 1.3 3 3 and so on that means 3 is continuing in such case i will tell it is a recurring number so after decimal places it is extended indefinitely but one number one digit is repeating so one more such example i can give it is suppose 2.25 25 25 and so on up that means this 2 5 is continuing i can say these types of numbers are recurring non terminating decimal numbers but there are exist some decimal numbers which are not terminating as well as not recurring also for example let me write one example 1.01 001 0001 and so on in such case you will find though it is not terminated at any place it is extended but none of this parts of this type number is re recurring so here i find a pattern of numbers so it is 01 it is 001 it is 0001 i cannot say i cannot give any particular part of this number is repeating it is coming in pattern so it will not be considered as repeating so such type of numbers are non recurring numbers now this terminating decimals what we learned they are coming under rational numbers as we have already learned the rational numbers is denoted with the set 
set of rational numbers denoted by the letter Q. So this terminating decimal numbers coming under the rational numbers and we denote it as Q. Now come to non-terminating decimal numbers. They are classified into two parts, recurring non-terminating decimal numbers. This recurring non-terminating decimal numbers, they are also coming under this Q. They are also called as rational numbers. But those who are non-terminating, non-recurring decimal numbers, they are called as irrational numbers and denoted by Q dash. This is called Q dash. The set of all rational numbers represented as Q and the set of all real numbers which are not rational are represented as Q dash. So Q dash is the set of all decimals other than Q. So let us see how this non-terminating, non-decimal, non-recurring decimal numbers exist. Okay, let me rob it. These irrational numbers we can write in three different ways. These irrational numbers we can write in three different ways. For example, we can write these irrational numbers irrational numbers fast in decimal decimal expression I can write in decimal expression decimal numbers or I can write in real algebraic expressions it is called real algebraic expression I will show the example how it is real algebraic expressions real algebraic numbers or expressions or sometimes it is called as transcendental or symbolic forms for example I can write it as pi I can write e these are the transcendental numbers so these are some examples we are so very often you are using this term pi this pi is a irrational number so now what are the decimal numbers we have seen some decimal numbers one point 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2 and so on. This type of numbers we can write it as irrational numbers. So similarly, real algebraic form numbers, they are written as root 2, then root 3. Such type of numbers are real algebraic numbers. And these are transcendental numbers or written as symbolic form, pi, e, like this. So these are all about the irrational numbers. Now, all these decimal numbers what we read or the real numbers what we read how this can be presented in decimal form for example uh, these are all irrational numbers let me now we'll discuss about the how real numbers can be converted into decimal form we'll go to the real numbers converted into decimal form let us come to here real numbers are broadly we classified as a rational and irrational we can say rational and irrational form. Rational and irrational. This is a rational and irrational. This is rational when I find it is always written in a form P by Q. So when it is written in P by Q form, so I can say P by Q, what this Q can be. For example, let me write it here. Suppose I will write 1 by so 1 by 2 I can write in decimal form. How I will write in decimal form? For converting into decimal, I will use many different ways. For example, actually I can divide this 1 by 2. In a long division process, I can divide this 1 by 2 and I will find it is coming 0 0.5. It is coming 0 0.5. But if I change it to 1 by 8, again I have to think how I have to divide. So we, if I divide, go on dividing a real uh, long division process, I will find, find it is 0 0.125. Now similarly, if I write it here, I will have 2 by 15. Now in such case, how to find this number? So I have to go for dividing. Let me divide it here. We'll observe. So 2 is the dividend and 15 is the divisor. Let me divide now. I will put the decimal number here because it is less than that so I will put the decimal number first then after that it becomes 20 I will put 1 at here it will be become 15 so 5 will carry at here so as the decimal it will give 0 so now I will put it here 3 so 15 3 is a 45 now 5 comes here 
again due to decimal again it will come so again i will put 3 so this will give 45 again so the 5 again here then now if i'll give again 0 i will find again 3 so this will continue so i will find this 2 by 15 comes as 0 0.133 and so on that means i can tell it is 0 0.13 bar this bar notation is given to represent the repeating parts of the decimal number here 0 0.1333 and so on is written as 0 0.13 bar bar is given on 3 now as 2 by 15 becomes now 0 0.13 bar if i instead of 2 by 15 it will be 3 by 15 what will be the result if i tell it is 3 by 15 what will be the result then if it will be 3 by 15 this can be minimized and you will find it is 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 we will go and dividing you will find it is 0 0.2 now it is a this is a uh, terminating decimal but here in 2 by 15 it is a non terminating decimal so what basic difference we find in between these two fractions or uh, ra rational numbers that one is giving terminating decimal while other is giving non terminating decimal let us observe some more examples 13 by 40 in a rational expression 13 by 40, we find the denominator is 40 which can be split into its prime factors as 2 to the power 3 into 5. As I have seen at here 2 to the power 3 and here 5 to the power 1 is there to make it both the powers 3, I multiplied 5 to the power 2 in the denominator. To make it equivalent, I also multiplied 5 to the power 2 in the numerator. So the numerator became now 325 and the denominator becomes 2 into 5 whole to the power 3. So it is expressed now 325 divided by 1000 and in decimal form it becomes now 0 0.325. In another example we find it is 19 by 2500. So 2500 in denominators can be split as 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 4. So as both there are two factors 2 and 5 but both of them uh, do not have the same power. So in order to make their power same, so I multiply 2 to the power 2 in both denominator as well as in the numerator also. So in the numerator, I find it is 76 and the denominator becomes now 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 4. Then 76 by 2 into 5 whole to the power 4, that becomes now 76 by 10,000 and finally it becomes 0 0.0076. In another example, we will find 11 by 30 is equal to 11 by 30 split as 2 into 3 into 5. Here 2 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 1 and another 3 is there whose power is also 1. Now 2 into 5 multiplied together it becomes 10 but still another 3 is existing in the denominator. So that is why in this case we are not finding the decimal as a terminating. So we find it is 0 0.366 and so on. That means it is continuing. From the above examples, we observe that in the standard form of a rational number, if the denominator is in the form of 2 to the power m or 5 to the power n or 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n, where m and n are non-negative integers, it can be expressed as terminating decimals Otherwise, it is non-terminating recurring decimal. Now, what we learned, all these real numbers, what we have seen, suppose this is a real number set. This entire becomes now real number set. Now, in this real number set, we have seen this part up to this much is the rational numbers. This is the rational numbers and this part is the irrational numbers. This implies that how many rational numbers are there as we, we have taken the infinitely many rational numbers are there so similarly infinitely many irrational numbers are also there like infinitely many rational numbers infinitely many irrational numbers also there then from this rational numbers we have already covered we can say some portion of them are integers let us take this portion of these are integers out of these integers some portion of them are whole numbers I can say this person is a whole numbers. Again, out of this whole number, some portions are natural numbers. So I can say it is natural numbers. So I can write it is n. Then this will be w. This will be z. This will be q. 
and this is q dash and this together entire set is now r or real number set okay so this is the real numbers we have learned this real numbers are combination of all the rational and irrational numbers so then we'll move to the next part when we cover this uh, rational numbers how to find the decimal number of this rational numbers okay <clears throat> for example let me rub it the decimal conversion of conversion of irrational numbers we have seen the decimal conversion of rational numbers now we'll see the decimal conversion of irrational numbers as we know we have learned that here root 2 is a real algebraic form so how to find this root 2 is a irrational number now if you go on finding the value of root 2 you will find it's a non terminating non repeating decimal number or non terminating non recurring decimal numbers so if i'll go on finding i will find its value by square root method i will find it is value will be 1.4142 like this okay then you will find it is root 3 similarly you will find it is 1.732 and so on up to okay so <coughs> between this root 2 and root 3 if i suppose to find such more irrational numbers has to be put in between this is the irrational number this is also an irrational number but between these irrational numbers i have to find some more irrational numbers so how will find then so i have to find a number which is more than this root 2 but less than the root 3 so i have to find again here it will be one point so when i have to see this number 1.41 and here it is 1.73 so I have to take one more number which will be more than 1.41. So I will take at 1.5. Then I have to create such a number which will not be repeated. So I will write 1.52552555552 and so on. In writing such pattern of this number, it will be confirmed that even if it is extended at no place, we will find none of these parts is repeating. So such type of number gives us a clear idea about the irrational numbers. I can find this number, this number lies between the root 2 and root 3 also. I can create many more numbers like this. Suppose I will write it as 5, 3 and 5, 5, 3, 5, 5, 5, 3 and so on. So you can also create a lots of numbers which lies between any two given irrational numbers. Okay, so how to convert? this number decimal conversion of this irrational numbers now we learned let us go to an example of irrational numbers and rational numbers for example now it is given one question is given insert two irrational numbers insert two irrational numbers between three and five suppose this three and five these are rational numbers and we have to find two irrational numbers between this three and five very easily we can find how we'll find it now we have to find the value of the irrational number which will be more than 3. As we have already learned, we can express the decimal number, irrational number in decimal form. So I can write the required numbers the required numbers are now I will write 3.41 4, 4, 1, 4, 4, 4, 1, and so on, and 4.52, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 2, and so on. Look at these numbers. Now they lie within this 3 and 5, and they are the 
irrational numbers. Similarly, now let us go to the next part. How to find the rational conversion of a decimal number? The number which is already given in decimal form, we have to convert into rational numbers. So how it will be done? So when we, it is there, so these decimals we have already learnt, it is of two types. One is terminating, other is non-terminating. Now terminating decimal numbers, the terminating decimal numbers, this terminating decimal numbers we can convert into rational form. Those are non-terminating, non-terminating and recurring, non-terminating and recurring, they can be converted into, they can be also converted into rational form. But those who are non-terminating, non-recurring, they cannot be converted into rational form. So what we can do now, let us get a terminating decimal number. For example, it is 1.2. So how to convert this 1.2 into decimal form? Very simple. We can write it as 1.2. 1.2 as 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 by 10. Simply, I can write it as 12 by 10 and I will write it as 6 by 5. So this is the value. When I reduce this by 2 and reduce this by 10, uh, 2, I will get it as 6 by 5. So 6 by 5, I got it as 1.2. Now, <clears throat> suppose this is not terminating, it is a non-terminating recurring number. For example, I have to write 1, uh, suppose it is uh, 1 1.27, 27, 27 and so on. Now here we find it is not, ter not terminating, it is a non-terminating but it is repeating. So such type of numbers I can write it is 1.27 bar. So how to convert such type of numbers into rational number? So let me take this number, entire number, I will take it as x. So I will write it here now, x equal to 1.272727 and so on. Now how many numbers are repeated? Here I will find these two digits are repeated after this decimal part. So to bring these two digits in the left hand side, I have to multiply 100 with this x. So I can write it here now, 100x equal to. 100 is, if I will multiply x equal to 1.27 bar, so when 100 x I will multiply, so I will find it is 127.272727 and so on. Now if I compare between this x and 100 x, the after decimal portion of both the numbers are equal. So if we we'll subtract this x from this 100 x, we will find this after decimal portion numbers, they will be cancelling. So what is left now? So if you subtract 100x minus x, you will find it is 99x and this will be 127 minus 1. So the difference of this integral part, it will be 126. And 99x equal to 126, so x will be how much? It will be 126 by 99. So now we can minimize this by cancelling by 3. Let us write it as 4 and it is 2. Now this will be 33. And again, it can be cancelled by 3. So you will write it as 14. This will be 14 divided by 11. So this will be your result. So now what we have written 1.27 bar when it is represented as a rational form, we find it is 14 by 11. So how this number is converted into this rational form, we have learnt it here. Okay. Similarly, we can go for one more example. Let me write it here. Suppose I will write, it is another number I will take, convert 0 0.235, where bar is on 3.5, that means 3.5 is repeating, in such case, into P by Q form or rational form. So convert this 0 0.235, where 3, 5 is in repeating form into P by Q form or into rational form. So how it will be converted? Let us see again. Let us declare X equal to 0 0.235 where 3, 5 is in repeating. So I can add 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5 and so on. That means 3, 5 is continuing. Now how many digits after this decimal portions are not repeated? 
you can observe there is only one place that is 2 which is not repeated after this decimal part. So in such case we can bring this 2 to this side by multiplying 10 to this x. When I multiply 10 to this x I will find it is 2.35353 and so on yes or no then how many digits are repeated in the first term i will find how many digits are repeated this three five three five three five there's two digits are repeated every time so let us bring these two terms these two uh, digits this side by multiplying more hundred to it you will find it is so when 10x is equal to 2.3535 bar so you will multiply more hundred it so 100 multiplying to 10x it becomes now thousand x now 1000 x equal to how much? It will be 2, 3, 5 point. So decimal will be multi moved to that place. So it will be 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5 and so on. Then I will observe this between this 10 x and this 1000 x. In these two numbers, this after decimal portions are same. So if I'm subtracting this 10 x from this 1000 x, I will find the after decimal portions will be cancelling. So here, if we we'll subtract this 0.353535, they will be cancelled. So remaining is only the difference of the integral numbers. That is 1000x, I am subtracting 10x. So 235 minus 2, this becomes now 233. And this will be 990x. Now I will find 990x equal to 233. So now 990x equal to 233, so x will be equal to how much? 233 divided by 990 okay so now we can make it simple form or you will write it here this x equal to now 233 divided by 990 so if it will be cancelled by any factor you will do otherwise this will be the rational form okay so this number we find it is 0 0.235 where 35 is in repeating form. It, when it is expressed in rational form, it becomes 233 by 990. Okay. Understood now? So, we uh, learn today, what is the terminating decimal number? What is the non-terminating decimal number? What is the non-terminating decimal numbers are again classified into two types. Non-terminating recurring, non-terminating non-recurring. When non-terminating recurrings are coming under this uh, rational numbers when non terminating non recurrings are coming coming under irrational numbers okay and irrational numbers and rational numbers both the numbers how to convert into decimal form and decimal numbers into rational form both the things we have discussed okay so let us go for some questions i will give some questions practice question to you okay so let us learn how to convert some more numbers into rational form okay For example, let me give some questions now, 0 0.6, how to convert this number into rational form? 0 0.6 is a simple terminating decimal number, when simple terminating decimal number, how to convert? Simply we can write it is 6 by 10 and 6 by 10 can be written in minimum form, so it will be write it is 3 by 5, so 6 0 0.6 is converted. Now next we will discuss about 0 0.4. 7, 7, 7 and so on. Here it is a non-terminating decimal number. Non-terminating but repeating. So how to convert the such numbers into? Again you will write. For that we have to use some process for that. So we will take now let x equal to 0 0.4777 and so on. Now how many digits are repeated? How many digits are not repeated on the other side? So it is 4. Only one digit, digit is not repeated. So let me multiply 10. So when I multiply 10, so I find it is 10x equal to 4.777 and so on. Now, I find again one digit is there on the other side which is repeated. So to bring this number which is repeated, I have to bring it here. So I will multiply more 10 to here. It will become now 100x. So I will find it is 47.7 7 7 and so on now i will find this after decimal portion of both the numbers are equal so i can subtract now so 100x minus 10x i will find it is 90x 
equal to this portions are cancelled so 47 minus 4 this will be 43 and 90x equal to 43 implies x equal to 43 by 90 so this is your required rational number of 0 0.4771 okay if this is the bit one so this is your second bit let us go to the next one question bit three so let me rub this first bit I will let it is here now bit 3 1.234 here bar is on 4 that means this 4 is repeating and 2 places are not repeating so how to find this I will again declare let x equal to 1.2344 and so on how many digits are not repeated on the other side 2 digits are not repeated so I will find to bring these two digits to the side, I have to multiply 100. So 100x equal to how much? It will be 123.444 and so on. Now this 4 is repeated every time. This single digit 4 is repeated. So to bring this 4 to the side, I have to multiply more 10 to this 100x. So this will become now 1000x. And 1000x equal to how much? 1000x will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 1234. 0.444 and so on. Now I will subtract this 100x from 1000x. I will find it is 900x and this 900x equal to this after decimal portions will be cancelled. So now difference of these two number integral numbers only will the answer. 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1 and here it is 1. So this equal to 900x equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. 1111 now x equal to how much it will be 1111 by 900 so this will be your answer this is your x okay so let us recapitulate what we'll discuss today we discussed today that about the real numbers are broadly classified into two basic categories one is rational and other is irrational Rational numbers are further classified into integers and integers into whole numbers and whole numbers into natural numbers. But irrational numbers are further not classified. But irrational numbers can be presented in three different forms. One is in decimal form, one is in real algebraic form like root 2, root 3, such type of numbers. And one more form is a transcendental form or it is symbolic form we can say it is pi. Pi is very famous, we know it is the value of pi is 3.14 we are writing. Sometimes we also use pi as 22 by 7. This is a misconception in the student's mind. They use this pi as 22 by 7. Pi can be considered approximately as 22 by 7. But pi and 22 by 7, they are totally different. Pi is an irrational number and 22 by 7 is a rational, national, uh, rational number. 22 by 7 is expressed in form of p by q. But pi cannot be expressed in p by q form because it's a pure irrational number. So, but both of them can be considered up to decimal some places they are equal. That's why for calculating purpose, we are considering pi as a 22 by 7. In some places, we consider pi as 22 by 7, but it doesn't mean pi equal to 22 by 7. So, so such type of pi and e, e, these are the irrational numbers in symbolic forms. Now we learnt then how to convert these uh, real numbers into decimal form. So when we convert real numbers into decimal form, we find there are two forms. One, when it is terminating, other, it is non-terminating. When it is terminating, we have to find the denominator of this p by q form must be in the form of 2 to the power m or 5 to the power n or 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power n. If except this 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power n, any other factor exists in the standard form of this p by q, then you will find such type of numbers will expressed in non-terminating decimal numbers that we discussed then again how if it is given in decimal form decimal numbers how to convert in rational form p by q form we discussed up, up to such uh, examples we have taken and we concluded up to this much okay so in next class we'll learn about how to represent these irrational numbers in the number line okay so that's all for today thank you